When you look at me, what do you see? A concerned father. Wrong. You have before you a tree trunk with branches. I don't understand. Well, you, you know the expression, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree? Of course. Well, I'm the tree. Warren is the apple. Huh. You see, I don't blame Warren for who he is. It's not his fault. His limitations, they're mine. His mediocrities, mine also. If left to his own devices, Warren would have little chance of becoming anything more than another version of me. A tree. Mrs. Cheswick, you can't possibly feel the same way. Okay. Perhaps you should tell Miss Vesey what she can do to help you. Oh, thank you. We think it's important for Warren to go to college. It's his best hope for becoming more than simply the sum of his parents. Okay. Well, since you spoke with him, he's become convinced that he's better off with this little circus act that he's trying to put together. <laughs> it's a TV show. Like there's a difference. <laughs> okay, I think that this is just a simple misunderstanding. Miss Vesey, why don't you have a talk with Warren? Tell him that you believe college is the best thing for him. He'll listen to you, Miss Vesey. You have no idea how much he respects your opinion. <laughs> You're right. Warren would listen to me. And that's why I can't do it. I'm sorry, it's just not my decision to make. It's Warren's. So sorry. Thank you for taking the time to see us. We'll see you at the school board hearing. Would it really have been that hard to 